Today we're going to do a basic tutorial on how to do a Sales Simulator 5 match, how to make a match course. A single player, multiplayer is when you're going online and the one we want at the moment is match courses. You need to select from the drop down menu here where there's a couple of different base maps with islands and land masses etc but just for today we're going to use a basic one which is Treasure Island and that will generate its own okay we want a new map that's a used one and in here we'll give it a new name make a tutorial So we know which one to pick out. Might even go uh, one. Who knows how many of these I'll be doing. Save. Okay, now it's saved as tutorial one. Your scroller, your mouse wheel scrolls you in and out on the map. We'll be using that a bit. Now for a super basic one, we need a tugboat. There's red boys, triangular, standard and spherical boys. We need a tugboat for our start. And a red one for our start. I don't know whether they're supposed to be any which way around. And these three yellow boys here, we'll just use a standard one. So I'll scroll out again. And we'll just try and do a really basic course. One. Okay. So we'll be going up, around there, back there, around and back down. Next thing we want to do after selecting them in match objects is start and finish. On the left side, port side is number one. Star, but right hand side is number two. Arrows pointing which direction we're going to go. Don't worry about that line at the moment. We generate a starting area. One, two, last one is finish. Since we're coming back that way, number two is going to be on the port, and number one is going to be on the starboard. Okay, that's our start finish all mapped out, ticked match course. This is where you click in order each one of the boys you're going to go around. So we go from start to there, click, across to there, click, back to there, click, and it's home. To just clean up a few things we'll go back to match objects. Number two, click on over here, We'll change name and backspace and we go RT dash start finish. I'll just click anywhere here and it changes it. Number one, we'll delete that because it's a bit in the way. Number three, click on, we want to change that to number one, space, three. Because that's going to be boy number one, two, and three. So it's boy number one and three. Number four, we change to boy number two. So now we've got start finish to number one to number two to number three and then home. Everything looks okay. Yep, yep, yep. If you want to do things you can do silly things like add a red boy over here, put that there, change the name and go Okay. 
Je... Treasure Island. And that's out of the way of everything. That's how you can just add things on if you want to. And we'll go save. Okay. Now we head off and do test on timing, add wind, etc. Select a boat. The boat we'll be using today will be a laser. I'm just running it at 90 kilograms because it's a it's an okay weight for doing about 20 20 knots. We'll change that to Treasure Island tutorial one uh, middle of the day so it's nice and bright and okay now we want environment we go change what I figured for this we, we just use 20 knots from the north just point two knots current wind dependent waves only 0.4 you can you know you can have them going up to 3.3 .3. you can have you know pretty radical waves if you really want them a shallow angle I'm not going to have two waves crossing each other not for this it gets pretty hectic okay clear partly cloudy cloudy fog we're just going to run clear and then go OK. So we've got LASA, run on that course, 20 knot wind, etc. Right, let's go there and start. Click on the start button. OK. This one here with a wheel on it. If you put your left mouse button down and push forward, you see you can push the guy backwards and forwards. If you push him right forward, he does get a bit of extra speed. So what I'll do now is I'll head down to the starting line. Going downwind, if you lift the center board, can make it go a little quicker sometimes. Less drag. And sometimes you can even push him forward like that, and depending, you'll go quicker as well. Speed things out, we might just teleport to the starting area. Get the clock ready. Click a little bit before you start because not everyone crosses perfectly. This isn't a time myself, it's just to get an idea of how long it takes to get around the course. A 
and you want to give enough time for everyone to finish, not just the rockets. I usually turn when I can draw a 90 degree line across the back of the boat in line with the buoy about now. If you're using manual adjust there, yeah, you can turn earlier and get better speed. But this is just basic. This is just timing the race at the moment. Keeping it on basic auto. You can go quicker if you push that out. Picks up speed a lot. But we'll leave it on auto to get a basic time. And around we go. This is even more important on long races because if you don't have the right timing you can really muck up a lot of people. They don't want to be sitting around for 30 minutes to get in a race which hasn't got enough time to finish. And I'll just blow that up so I can see when we cross the line. Get ready to work the stop. Okay, three minutes forty three, say four minutes. So let's escape out of there and we go back from there. Now we go to multiplier, internet game, and you log back in, tutorial again tutorial number one and create an organized session yeah we better give it a password because otherwise we're going to have a whole lot of people jumping in and out of the race and we don't want that while we're testing it okay select boat we want to do Lisa, uh oh, how'd we get on that? Cancel.
try again. Fine session. I'll get rid of that. That's what I was doing wrong. Didn't define it. We only want laser. No course selected. Well, we better change that. It's on Treasure Island. And we want Tutorial 01. This one doesn't matter that much. Count down after a minute. Um, I want it during the middle of the day, otherwise we're going to have... Uh, dark and we don't really want dark okay now we want to put in these details again we wanted clear 20 knots from the north 0.2 knots and I think that was up there in that down here, point four. No second wave. Pretty shallow, not much. Okay. So that's set up basically the same. There we go, okay, that's all ready to go, yep. Okay, now we've got the right boat. Had to define it first. It's good to run it around this one, the start session, because it's not always the same same timing. So we'll go, oh, we should be able to get around there in a minute. So we go Shift and M. So there's a countdown. We better get around to ready for this race. Push that guy forward again. Don't need that timer. just under four minutes so let's see if this one goes about the same seems a bit much doing all this testing but it does make a difference you get the time so much better it annoys less people they don't have to wait around as much I had some today where you wait an hour and a half for the next race to start and that's just crazy
This is a basic race. <laughs> waves are bigger so you can ride them on some parts or you can make it a really bumpy surface by having cross cross waves as well make the wind stronger or lighter depending and around we go Okay, looks like it's going to be about the same as the other one. Okay, so under proper race conditions, it's worked out about the same results. Okay, close. So we'll just go shift M. And we can leave that session because we've used it to test it. Now the last stage, I'll put it up to Zaya, but I'm going to delete it straight after. Get rid of password. Leave it on tutorial. Create open session. Okay. Make sure the lace is picked and the others aren't. Unless you want other boats in there. Change. That's alright. Four minutes. What times have we got? It was only four minutes, so we only need ten minutes. 8 minutes, yep, maximum match time 8 minutes, that's all that's needed, middle of the day, ok, check on these, 20 knots north, yep, waves still the same, and we can go ok, and ok, and it'll generate it, open session successfully created, and there we go. And it's put tutorial up on the server. And just to show you, and go on that, go join session. Okay. And there it is. I'll get out of there. Because we don't really want to take up the space on the server with rubbish.
Yes. And that's all for this one. I'll try to do some other ones soon. Thank you.